Welcome to another episode of Metal and Beer. Today I'm sharing one of my absolute favorite IPA beers with you called Old Elephant Foot. And it just happens to be from a local brewing company called Tampa Bay Brewing Company. They're located in the heart of Ybor City, which is one of my favorite places here in the Tampa area. I just love it down there. There's a lot of metal concerts down there at the Ritz and the Orpheum and just so much to do and so much beer to drink there as well. And again, Tampa Bay Brewing is like right in the heart of Ybor City. So that's kind of a cool fact if you don't already know that. All right, so Old Elephant Foot. That's actually the name of a trash can. I just read that on their website because I always wondered like why they named it that. Now, I don't know what the correlation is with that name or how that came about. Maybe they were kind of tipsy at the time and said, hey, let's name the beer Old Elephant Foot off of a trash can. <laughs> I don't know. The beer is awesome, though. Again, it's, it truly is one of my favorite. I mean, you guys will hear me say that a lot. I love this beer. I love that beer. I love craft beer in general, just like you do. Uh, but this is indeed one of my absolute, like I'd say probably top five IPAs, if not top three. So let's give this a pour and let's try it. So this is brewed with three different types of hops. I love the combination of different hops. So it's got the Cascade and Centennial hops, which that gives you kind of that earthy and floral sensation. And then it also gives you some of that citrusy taste. And there's a little hint of grapefruit. And I think that comes from the Cascade in there. The grapefruit is actually not overpowering this at all, though. I can barely taste that part. But those two hops give you a really unique blend. Now, that third hops, three types of hops here, is the Northern Brewer hops. Now, that's, I believe that's like a, a California-based hops. In fact, it's, it's one of the signature hops in a specific California style of beer. And that gives you more of that woody and minty combination there. So all three of those combined together, you've got some really interesting flavors in here. So let's give this a try. Cheers. I say let's give this a try like it's my first time. But again, I've had this many, many times. And if you're buying this in a can, it comes in a pint. And this is also excellent on tap, as you would expect, but sometimes I'll go down to Tampa Bay Brewing Company and have this on tap, which is, man, it's really awesome. But it's great out of a can. I mean, obviously, you want to pour it into a glass, but it's still just a really, man, just a solid IPA beer. Those are almost just kind of hit you as you're sipping here. I think I only have one more in my fridge downstairs, so I'll be making another beer run here pretty soon. All right, so this is 7%. That's the alcohol content, which to me, I've always said this. I've said this in prior videos. Anywhere between like that 6 and 7.5% is really a, a solid range for your alcohol content for IPAs, in my opinion. And 7 is just, that's just perfect. It's not at a high level but it's right up there to give you enough of that alcohol, but not quite taken away from any of the flavors from the beer. So again, that's like a perfect percentage in my opinion. Now it is a hoppy beer. And of course, you know, me going over the hops just now, you can probably guess that, but the IBU is 80. So it's quite a hoppy beer, but I don't think it's like really overpowering hoppy. It's hoppy enough. Like I said, it's one of my favorites. It's like the perfect IPA. So yeah, guys, that is Old Elephant Foot IPA by Tampa Bay Brewing. Very awesome IPA beer. And if you ever visit Tampa, well, of course, if you live in Tampa, chances are you've been to Ybor City. If you have not stopped by Tampa Bay Brewing, definitely check that place out. It's awesome. If you visit this area, go to Ybor City, go to Tampa Bay Brewing awesome 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 and this is not sponsored by the way of course maybe they'll see this video and say hey let's throw jason some beers which hey i will say yes i will accept <laughs> now let's talk about the metal part of this metal and beer video the band i want to highlight and actually the specific album that i want to highlight in this video is the shirt i'm wearing 
arch enemy. And actually, I want to highlight the album that this shirt is from. It's their Will to Power album. Now, I started following Arch Enemy. Give you a little backstory here. I started following Arch Enemy around the time that I heard Jeff Loomis join the band. I had listened to them before that, but I never really dug that deep into them. I always thought they were awesome, but for whatever reason, you know, there's so many bands out there, I never really like dove head first. But when I heard Jeff Loomis join the band, and I'm a really big Jeff Loomis fan. I think he's like one of the... <sighs> That just came out of nowhere in mid-sentence. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't need it. Anyway, when I heard Jeff Loomis join the band, I started really digging into the current album at that time and then their backlog and all that, because I'm a huge Jeff Loomis fan. I think he's just an amazing guitarist and just seems like a really cool, down-to-earth dude. So anyway, I actually went to this concert right here, which is where I got this shirt from. I love to buy concert t-shirts. I know they're expensive at shows, but hey, you know what? It's supporting the band, and I'm all about that, just like I'm all about supporting local breweries. You know, I like to support the things that, that we love. So I went to this show, I think it was back in 2017, their Will to Power tour, and actually they're playing with Trivium, which is another great metal band, just phenomenal. I love Matt Heafy. He's just, he's such a cool dude, very uh, very rigid and very professional at what he does and the things even that he does outside the band. So I know I'm going off on a tangent here, but back to Arch Enemy. This specific album is one of the most empowering albums that you'll ever hear in melodic death metal or metal in general or really music in general. And I want to point out this specific album and really a specific song. My favorite song on the album is The World Is Yours and I believe that's track number four. Extremely powerful and empowering lyrics and I absolutely love Alyssa's voice in the band. Of course, this is a melodic death metal band that's, that's female fronted. And I don't really, I don't really like to say female fronted because a great death metal singer is just a great death metal singer or singer in general. And she's, I'd venture to say she's my favorite death metal singer. Not female fronted death metal singer, but favorite death metal, melodic death metal singer just as a whole. I mean, it's kind of a, it's kind of a tough decision between like Alyssa White Glutes and Johan Hegg from Amana Marth. Man, if those two would do like a melodic death metal duet, that would be something awesome to see and hear. But no, Alyssa truly is one of my favorite, again, just pure melodic death metal vocalists ever. She's amazing. But the band as a whole is just amazing. And when you start listening to Arch Enemy, especially this album, you'll see just how creative and melodic their guitarist, which I believe he was one of the founders of the band, Michael Amat is. He is just phenomenal. And the stuff that he comes up with and writes, the riffs and the guitar progressions, they just take you to another place. So this album, Arch Enemy, Will to Power, got to check that out. And track number four, The World Is Yours, is my personal favorite song on that album, though all the songs on that album are just amazing. So guys, that wraps it up for this episode of Metal and Beer. Please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed and ding that little bell. And leave me any comments if you've tried this specific beer, Old Elephant Foot by Tampa Bay Brewing. If not, and if you don't live in the area, because I know sometimes it's hard to find beers from other places when it comes to craft beers, just let me know what your favorite local IPA is. I'd love to know that. And while you're at it, let me know your favorite melodic death metal band if you have one. Leave those in the comments. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video and supporting the metal and beer movement here. I'll see you on the next metal and beer.